Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker down here at Lus Hills Harley-Davidson and look what they have laid out for us today. This is the brand new Hot Rod Harley-Davidson Road Glide 3. It's, a road. it's got the beautiful Road Glide fairing on the three-wheeled chassis. Isn't that a hot rod? Let's go take that thing for a spin. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Feel the thunder. There's the home screen. Let's turn on the navigation. Alrighty, let's go for a run. This is the beautiful Harley Davidson Road Glide 3. This wonderful gray color. If you're all in the market for a new or used Harley Davidson, get yourself down here to Lus Hills Harley Davidson in Southwest Iowa. Exit 35 on Highway Interstate 29. Beautiful sound. I wonder if this has aftermarket pipes. We'll check that out when we get back. Wow, does it sound good. Very comfortable place to be. The bars are reaching up to me. I'm sitting with my back straight. My knees and hips are about the same height. My heels are ahead of my knees. I've got these wonderful floorboards, which I just love. Look at this bike. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the sound. Can you all hear that? Milwaukee 8, 114. That's um, 1,868 cubic inches, I believe. Kicks out about 90 horsepower as this one is tuned. About 119 foot-pounds of torque. It's about 161 newton meters. But all that comes in extra low. About 2,750 RPM is uh, full torque. So everything's way down low. Wow, does this thing sound good. Good shifting, too. Very positive shifting. That six-shooter Harley transmission is really something to be proud of. Little gear indicator right there. At 60 miles an hour, we're talking about 2,500 RPM. Very nice. It's a pretty windy day down here in the Luz Hills today, and uh, that fairing is doing a darn good job. I do like the uh, Road Glide fairing. And on this bike, it is excellent. It's a frame mount fairing. You don't feel any of the weight or the vibration through the handlebars because it is mounted to the frame. Very good light steering. Amazing for a bike. 1163 pound motorcycle. I think that's 257 kilograms. Look at that, it just picks right up. Holy moly. What a beautiful machine. Absolutely gorgeous machine. We're gonna have to look to see if those are stock pipes. Cause this sounds absolutely amazing. Steering is very light on this. I'm starting to get used to these trikes. It's almost automatic anymore, you know? I mean, look at this, just beautiful. We're on Holly Road, or as I call it, Harley Road. Boy, that thing sounds good. Very positive shifting, excellent handling. This is a very smooth running machine. That's something I've got to, I don't know how to get that across. We're on a very rough road, or pretty rough road, and this thing just does it really well. I mean, what a beautiful thing this is. The brakes are amazing. That's very interesting feel. This has got the electronic brake package. It's got the corner censoring uh, IMU or whatever the thing's called. And I think I could tell it was working back there in that curve. Now look how well these things turn. Just look at that. Just absolutely no problems at all. Very smooth, very easy to do. And the torque is phenomenal. Wow, amazing, absolutely amazing. Let's try the brakes. Whoa, that is, that's wow. That is amazing. Dual floating disc on the front with four piston calipers. Dual disc on the rear as well. Phenomenal, phenomenal. It, they're linked front to rear also. If you put front brake on, a little bit of the rear comes on. If you put rear brake on, a little bit of the front comes on. Very well done on their part. This is a very good handling machine. I think it's even better handling than before. I mean, this is, I'm very impressed with this. And the ride seems smoother. I don't know how they do that, but uh, you know, because Harleys are such good riding machines as it is. 
absolutely amazing. Six gallon tank that's 22.7 liters, loads of range. I think these are supposed to get in the 40s for mileage. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at all this black. Just beautifully done through here. I love the analog gauges, the chrome rims. Up here we've got the fuel gauge on the left, a voltmeter on the right, the boombox system right here with the six and a half inch color TFT, full color. What I like about the boombox system is it's a simple thing to use for somebody like me. I like things to be just simple. But yet, you can go into the systems and do all kinds of adjustments and all kinds of changes, and it's actually quite a complex system. I watched some videos on it, and I was just absolutely amazed at how far you can go with it and what it will do. It's very capable. Its three main functions are navigation, music, and phone. The arm effort is way down on this compared to other ones I've ridden, and I wonder how that is. Now this has a 19 inch tire on the front and 18s on the rear now. They went from, I think they had 16s before, to 18s now. Now this is where we usually try to see how fast this thing will go, but we've got road construction today. So we'll kind of take it easy there. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Wahoo! There's an air vent right here that you can open and close with this button here. I can feel a little bit of buffeting in my helmet, just a bit. When I push that open, it actually reduces that buffeting by a substantial amount. Very good job, Harley. Excellent. Listen to that rumble. Holy moly, does that sound good. And that transmission is a very smooth shifting. I wonder if they've improved that on this too. It just seems to, it's still very positive, but just slightly less clunky. Very well done. This thing just seems to operate smoother than the other trucks I've been on. Harley is upping their game. The brakes are absolutely amazing on this thing. Let's kind of pull in here and do a little talk. We'll just kind of leave it idling. I love I love the way this thing sounds. Okay, so let's start with the uh, switch gear. Excellent Harley levers. I just love these. These are just the most premium levers on the market today. I love the way they feel in my hand. Beautifully done. Same with the grips. Up here is an information button. I think we use that to change things up here. Let me just push it and see what happens. Oh, down here. Trip A, trip B, range, front tire pressure, Rear tire pressure, that's very nice. Very nice, I like it, I like it. So, traction control button right here, a horn, high lows with a flash to pass button, left blinker, intercom button, joystick to control the screen, and then here's the important one, cruise control. You push it in to turn it on, down to set it, up to resume. On this side, the kill switch and run switch, hazard lights, Start button, this is also the reverse button. Right blinker, and this is the return button for the screen. And then another joystick for the screen. And then of course the brake on this side. Fabulous brakes on this machine by the way. Down here we've got the analog gauges, speedometer, tachometer, up here fuel gauge, voltmeter over here, then the boombox system right here which we've talked about already. Now this is actually a touch screen. You can, also, you can use these buttons over here. Or you can use a touchscreen system. Uh, this is these are spaces for buttons you might want to put on. You can see the steering dampener down there. By the way, just look at that. Doesn't that just look finished? Hey, that's just very well done. Over here, by the way, are little cubbies. This one has a power port for your phone, and I suppose for connectivity for your music. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I see. It's a cigarette lighter. Very nice. Uh, I suppose you could hook up your electric or your heated gear for winter. Little winglets here to keep the air off of you. Very well done. Very well done. Okay, let's get back to the shop. I love the sound. This thing is just fabulous sounding machine. Boy, it handles so well. There's something different about this. I think the newer ones, they've done some work on these. They seem easier to drive, if that makes sense. Easier to ride. 
By the way, the seat is uh, 26 and a half inches. I think that's 673 millimeters. And they've done something with that transmission. It seems to shift just a little slicker, you know, a little smoother. Just, I never thought there was anything wrong with the old one, but this is just a little bit better for some, you know, for some reason. Excellent job on their part. Excellent job. Look, well, let's take a look at these bikes here. Just a whole herd of just beautiful machines here. Check this out. Hey, look at that. It's Randy's bike. A good friend of mine owned that bike. Look at that thing. That's a hot rod too. I like it. If you're in the market for a new or used Harley Davidson, get yourself down here to Lust Hills Harley Davidson in Southwest Iowa. LustHillsHD.com. Back here are all their used bikes. They've probably got over 100 bikes in this uh, little toy room back here. Look how nice and tight this machine turns. I hope. <laughs> no, I was, I'm confident. I'm confident. And they've got another 100 bikes in here. It's just amazing what they have in stock. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's get the other camera out and do a little walk around and talk. Wahoo! This is really quite the machine. I think they've done something different to these. It seems the sum of the hole is much higher than it was before. It seems easier to ride. It seems to brake substantially better. The transmission seems to work better. Very well done. And you know, I thought the older ones did just what just fine. So let's see what we got here. It's got the M8 engine. It's got four valves per cylinder, eight valves. Milwaukee made, so M8. Air-cooled body. I think the heads are oil-cooled. Oil-cooled bottom, of course. Here's the transmission, the beautiful six-speed transmission. I call it the six-shooter. And I think they've done something this year to make it even smoother than it was before. Very positive shifting. You certainly know when you're in gear. I just a lot, a lot slicker working than before, I believe. This engine is uh, tuned down a little bit to give you about 90 horsepower, but it's also tuned up in torque. So we've got the 119 foot-pounds of torque. That's 161 newton meters, but it comes in much lower. It comes in about 2,750 RPM. So you've got a lot more torque down low. And I think the bike is slightly lower geared too compared to uh, most other uh, Harleys, giving it you know more of that torque feeling. I, look at this, look at those tires. I think they're 215s on the back. Isn't that just beautiful? I think they're 215s, 45. 18s and just check out those rims and I couldn't find a name for those but aren't they just gorgeous rims you can see that disc in there just absolutely beautiful beautiful work twin shocks on the rear by the way dual disc on the front I could not find a number for the disc they are floating disc I think they're 300 millimeter it's got the uh, four piston calipers on each side and again just look at that beautiful rim isn't that just gorgeous tire size for the front is a 130 60 19 Nice wide 130 tire. That was a very, very good feeling. The ride on this was just excellent. I, I can't say that enough. 45 millimeter bending valve forks. Just look at this front end. Isn't that just art? And with that fairing on there, just check that out. I just love that. That is so beautiful. Such a gorgeous machine, isn't it? Looking in here, you can see the Harley symbols. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. I love how they've done all this, you know. This is a metal fender. This wonderful gray, this beautiful, I'm not sure what color that stripe is. Very well done. This carries along here on the fairing as well. I just love this. And then look at this bar here. You know, I know that's probably a structural support, but it actually looks very good. And then, of course, you can see the dampener in here. Gorgeous. It's a very well-finished front end, isn't it? I like it. I like it. Over here to the large running boards, big brake pedal. I love a motorcycle with running boards. And by the way, Bastard gets some too. Now this is the blacked out model. I think you can get this in chrome as well. I love these new taller tires. You know, the, those 18 inch rims really make a difference. Love the way this sweeps, you know, kind of the bobber look. Dual slash exhaust on the back here. Harley Davidson over here. I think this is a two liter trunk, two gallon trunk, something like that. Two cubic feet, I think it is. It looks way bigger than that. This door feels very solid, by the way. Nice solid click on it. This is where you buy your Harley Davidson, my friends. LustHillsHD.com. There's the phone number. Get a hold of those guys. They can help you out. Isn't that just beautiful, though? I like it. I like it. Seat height, 26 and a half inches. 
at 673 millimeters. Wheelbase, I love this part. It just amazes me that it's at 65.7 inches at 1,669 millimeters. You know, how do they get, I mean, that's just, you saw how tight this thing was turning. Just an amazing machine. 5.6 inches of ground clearance, that's 142 millimeters. Six gallon tank, 22.7 liters. Loads of range on this thing. And the big number, the number we all want to know about, <laughs> I mentioned it earlier already, 1,163 pounds, that's 572 kilograms. Wet, that's wet number by the way. You really can't tell it riding it, it's just, okay, let's put the numbers away and just kind of take a look at this thing. We already looked at the front end quite a bit. Well, let's jump here to the engine. You know, look at that, everything's blacked out, again, except for the thin ends, this little chrome piece here, push rod tubes, and the lifter blocks. Just well done on their part, very well done, you know. Just enough of everything. It's got that classic looking <laughs> M8 head. I call it classic because it's a Harley, right? Everything's classic on a Harley. I love the way the pipes come down through here. And of course, we already looked at the uh, slashed exhaust on the back. Beautiful, beautiful. Stepping up over here, check out that seat. Places for a backrest. You know, I thought the seat was very, I thought the whole ride was just fabulous. That's how you put your gas in. Just a beautiful thing. I think this is, I don't know what that is. That's probably a, that's probably a horn. I like it. I like it. Belt drive, by the way. I don't know if y'all can see the belt back there. Just a beautiful machine. What else can we look at here real quick? Let's hop down here and just kind of gawk, gawk at things. The dampener, electronics, oil cooler, brakes. You know, the, just look at that. It's just beautiful, you know. All of this is just pure art. I think you all can tell, but I get excited about motorcycles. And this one is right up my alley. I could live with this. I love this back end. I just loved it. And, uh, you know, I've ridden several of these without the fairing, and, and I would be nice with the uh, Road King fairing on it. Now I've ridden it with this, and the isolation that it provides, you know, this is attached to your frame, and that frees up the weight of the bars, and it just... You don't feel the vibration. It's just a, This is something I love to put a couple hundred miles on. It's just a beautiful, beautiful machine. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, if y'all are in the market for a hot rod like this, newer used Harley Davidson of any kind, they've got a whole room full of used ones over yonder. Get yourself over here to Lust Hills Harley Davidson, right off the interstate, Interstate 29, exit 35, Southwest Iowa. Those guys can help you out. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Wahoo!